Welcome to Exploring Climate Change Myths and Facts with Dr. Mark. In this video, I'm going to examine some newly published information about declines in the Earth's albedo or reflectivity that have troubling implications for the rate of climate change. Just a reminder, I don't ex accept any outside funding, private or public, uh, to make these videos or to present them. The Earth's albedo basically is the percentage of incoming solar radiation that is reflected from the Earth before the sunlight actually reaches the Earth's surface. Contributions to the albedo come from clouds, fine particles in the atmosphere, such as from volcanic eruptions, and ice and snow on the surface of the Earth. In the past, the albedo typically has been about 30%. Data obtained over the past two decades shows that the albedo has been slowly decreasing. Decreasing albedo means that there will be more warming of the Earth's surface than before. This could cause the Earth to warm faster than it would just by the emission of CO2 and other greenhouse gases. The dashed black line in the graph shows the average decline in albedo as measured by observing the earth shine reflected from the dark surface of the moon, while the dashed blue line shows the decline in albedo as measured by satellite instruments. What does the data tell us? The dashed black line is the best fit to the albedo obtained by measuring the intensity of the earth shine from the dark part of the moon's surface, and it shows a decrease of about half a watt per square meter from 1998 to 2019. The dashed blue line is the best fit to the albedo data obtained by direct measurements obtained by series instruments on several different satellites. It shows a significantly greater decrease in the albedo from uh, 2001 to 2019. Uh, note that the series data diverges significantly from the moon data starting in about 2015. What can we conclude from this data? Because the series data comes from different instruments on different satellite missions, we should view the divergence in the two data sets starting in 2015 with some caution. However, I think that we can say with much more certainty that the Earth's albedo has decreased by at least half a watt per square meter over the past two decades. During the same 20-year period, the sun has gone through almost two complete intensity cycles. Uh, solar intensity varies with about an 11-year period. And there was no correlation between the solar cycle, the two solar cycles and the albedo data. So that we can also conclude that the decreasing albedo has to be the result of changes here on Earth, not on the sun. What's causing this albedo decrease? Well, some of the decrease in albedo may come from lower amounts of sea ice in the Arctic. The series observations of cloud cover show a much more significant decrease uh, in cloud cover in the Eastern Pacific Ocean that appears to be correlated with increasing sea surface temperatures owing to climate change, along with the effects of the Pacific Decadal Oscillation a climate cycle that lasts approximately 40 years. Currently, we are in the so-called negative phase of the Pacific Decadal Oscillation. The figure shows the extent of sea surface warming in the north and northeastern Pacific during the negative phase of the Pacific Decadal Oscillation, and it's actually quite significant. But to sum up, we need to realize that the decrease in albedo is very concerning because it's adding to the amount of solar energy captured by the Earth's climate system at about the same rate as that caused by greenhouse gas emissions over the past 20 years. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if, you've in, if you've found this video interesting and important. I'd like it very much if you give me a like and uh, share the video with your friends and relatives. 
and maybe even subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching.